All right, what's good YouTube? It's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the Palms where I'm headed to their buffet for some brunch. Now it is the weekend. It's an extremely popular brunch buffet here, and I'm really happy to have you along with me. Let's head on inside. All right, you guys, so here we are seated at the Palms Buffet for their weekend brunch, loving the vibes. Now, the weekend brunch goes from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's incredibly popular. For $33, you get access to the entire buffet as well as all you can drink mimosas. You can see the line gets pretty long here. I waited roughly an hour and a half to get in. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Ace Buffet. Unfortunately, I haven't been back too often as it's a little bit further away from my house, but I'm happy to be back today to check it out. Let's go and take a look at the buffet. Alrighty guys, let me go ahead and give you a tour of the buffet here. Starting off in this fresh section, we've got a uh, cheese board as well as some locks. Looks like we've got a mixed berry salad, along with some vanilla yogurt, lychee mango and coconut cream, a strawberry spinach salad, a loaded potato salad, and a shrimp aguachile. Got some uh, tortilla chips down here. A tomato basil salad up there. A lomi lomi salmon. Actually, I think these might be mislabeled. I'm not sure. That looks like a that looks like a macaroni salad. This looks like more the tomato basil salad. This is the Waldorf salad. And this is the pineapple salad. Very nice. Then this brings us to the soup section. We've got a tomato bisque over here. A chicken and sausage gumbo. It's actually pretty deep in there. Let's see if I can get a good look. Oh, there you go. And then looks like we have a, uh, an oatmeal over here, you guys. Very nice. Toppings for your oatmeal as well. Looks like cinnamon, sugar, raisins, as well as some strawberries over here. And then that brings us to the bread station. You've got assorted breads as well as a toaster here. Very nice. Along with some cream cheese, butter, and peanut butter. And then that brings us to some more fruits here. We got some uh, pineapple as well as some assorted grapes back there. A mixed melon bowl, looks like cantaloupe and honeydew. And then all your accoutrements here. Oh my goodness, we've got balsamic, blue cheese, ranch, Asian sesame, Italian, cucumbers, cottage cheese, croutons, scallions, carrots, cherry tomatoes, and a mixed cheese. Uh, tofu, red onions, capers, Grain mustard, bacon, and grilled chicken. Tons of accoutrements for your salads here. Got a little fruit bowl. Very nice. And then your mixed greens over here. Roasted sweet potato salad. A Caesar salad. And a chopped salad. Alrighty guys, continuing the tour, we're here at the Revival section. We've got some vanilla overnight oats here, a fatouche salad, hummus, baba ganoush, as well as a tabbouleh, maple syrup, and that's next to some blueberry pancakes, and that's next to some chocolate chip pancakes. There's a blue or a, a berry compote down here. This is a vegetable potato hash, tofu scramble, and a jackfruit coconut curry. Very nice. All right, let me show you guys the roastery section up next. Here we've got Eggs Benedict. Usually they have two trays. In fact, as I say that, a second tray is coming out right now. Homestyle potatoes over here. Creamy egg scramble, along with some bacon. 
And then we've got their carvery over here. We've got a Hawaiian sausage. Bone-in glazed ham. Oh, sorry, let me get around here. And then some prime rib on the side. Here we have some sauces. We've got horseradish, toasted uh, coconut back there. Looks like some uh, caramel sauce, as well as a truffled ketchup and chimichurri. Some cranberries and peanut butter as well, and some whipped cream. Got a roasted Hawaiian gold pineapple over here. That is next to some corn on the cob. That looks very good. And over here, we've got some waffles with some maple syrup. Now, next up, let me show you the hearth section. We've got a omelet station over here. That looks pretty good. And then we've got pepperoni pizza along with cheese pizza. A breakfast pizza here. Along with a breakfast stromboli. Very nice. Truffle potato casserole. That looks really good. Roasted salmon and couscous. Looks like a, a spinach dish labeled squid luau. Got some chilaquiles here. Looks pretty good. Baked pasta bolognese. And some sauteed green beans. Very nice. All right, let me go and show you the world pan section. Starting over here, we've got some Spam Masubi. There's a rice cooker back there as well, free rice. Ginger, soy sauce, and wasabi over here, which obviously leads to our sushi section, assorted sushi here, along with some super green juice and a horchata chia pudding. Got barbecue chicken over here. That looks pretty good. Some bok choy. And a vegetable and egg fried rice. Got some egg rolls here. Along with some chow mein noodles. And that is next to some sesame balls. Go ahead. Some shrimp hargao over here. That's pretty good. No, you're good. Now that is next to some drawn butter. And then we got the premium stuff over here, you guys. Some snow crab legs. Looks very good. And next to that is some lemons. As well as your shrimp cocktail over here. And your two different types of tartar sauces as well. <laughs> I call it a tartar sauce. Sorry, cocktail sauce and a red tartar sauce. All right, the smoke and fire section is up next. Here we have a pork fried rice, pulled pork in the back, as well as some dirty uh, tots. That all looks pretty good. Looks like we've got beef brisket here and an andouille sausage over here. Are these tortillas here? Yeah. And those are tortillas uh, under that cloth for made tacos. And then all of your accoutrements here. You've got your uh, sour cream, cotija cheese, cilantro and onion relish, limes, pico de gallo, salsa, barbecue sauce, and a tangy sauce. Chicharrones, pickled onions, and uh, a tomatillo salsa as well as a chipotle salsa. All very nice. All right, you guys, and lastly, here we are at the sweet and light dessert section. You've got your soft serve Dole Whip machine over here. And then you've got s'mores, a bread pudding, a peach and apple cobbler here. A Hershey's syrup dispenser. You got some M&Ms, chocolate chips, toffee chips, uh, Oreo cookies and uh, cherries and some M&Ms. And then you've got your assorted gelatos here. Lots of different ice cream flavors. This all looks pretty good. And then you've got your cakes down here, you guys. 
looks like a lemon cake, tiramisu, chocolate, and different pies. Excuse me, ma'am. And uh, a carrot cake, as well as a pie over here. And a bunch of different other desserts. Looks like some uh, different cakes here. Let me see if I can get a better view. Chocolate cake, some kind of uh, strawberry cake. Got tiramisu. Yeah, these are all looking really good. Little scones down here. Got some Rice Krispies treats. A uh, assorted muffins, as well as what looks like to be a banana nut bread and some marbled uh, bread over there. Marbled cake, rather. A passion fruit lilikoi bar. Assorted cookies over here. And then these look to be uh, some additional muffins down here, as well as a luau custard tart. Yeah, looks all really good. And that is the buffet, you guys. I'm gonna go and put this down and uh, get my first plate. All right, you guys, so I'm back with my first plate. And with my first plate, we're starting off with some breakfast items. I got their Eggs Benedict along with some waffles as well as some pancakes bacon and some breakfast potatoes and you know I typically go to the omelet station to get over medium eggs but their scrambled eggs were actually looking pretty good today so I went ahead and got some on my plate let's go ahead and give this all a try all right let's go ahead and start things off by trying the bacon the fat looks really well rendered and it's super crispy this is my type of bacon let's give it a try oh yeah I'm very happy with that bacon super crispy nice and salty got that nice bacon flavor no complaints with that bacon. All right, next up, let's go and try the scrambled eggs. Now again, if you guys have watched my videos, typically I go to the omelet station for over medium eggs, but these actually look pretty good, so I wanna give them a try. Let's give them a taste. Those scrambled eggs are actually really good. The scrambled eggs are actually nice and creamy, and they've got a good flavor. They've actually run some kind of sour cream or some kind of cream through this to give it an extra fluffy texture. And there's also a little bit of chive in there to provide some bite. These are actually really good scrambled eggs. All right, next up, let's go and try these breakfast potatoes. Loving the nice char on these. Let's go to give them a taste. You know, unfortunately, those potatoes weren't all that great today. Now, while they've got a nice char on the outside, the centers are actually still pretty hard. It actually made for a kind of a tough bite. The seasoning here is actually pretty good. They've got a nice little smoky flavor with the paprika, but I definitely think they could have used a little bit of additional cook time to be perfect. All right, next up, let's go ahead and try the pancakes. Now, I put a little bit of a berry compote on this along with some maple syrup. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Now, unfortunately, the pancake texture is a little tough. I think it's been out on the line for a little bit. Oh, I wish I got these when they were fresh. That said, the berry compote actually has a very nice sweetness to it. I think this could have been decent. It's just a victim of that buffet time. Okay, so the pancake was pretty mid-tier. Let's go ahead and check out the waffle next. Now, this definitely cut pretty nicely with my fork and knife, and I'm a pretty big fan of blueberries. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh yeah, I'm definitely a fan of that waffle. Great texture, crispy on the outside, nice chewy cakiness on the inside. The maple syrup is doing its work here, but it's the powdered blueberries giving a really nice flavor. This is really good. Alrighty, and the last thing to try on my plate is gonna be the Eggs Benedict. Now the yolk is definitely nice and runny here, but there seems to also be some kind of a tomato sauce I'm seeing. Let's go and give it a try. You know, that's pretty interesting. It's not your standard Eggs Benedict. There's definitely a sweet tomato element here. It's definitely a bold flavor that takes over a lot of the bite. My English muffin had a nice toast to it. The egg was perfectly runny. The hollandaise sauce does have a good eggy quality about it, but I'm not sure I really enjoy that extra additional flavor of that tomato sweetness in there. Maybe I'm just kind of a sucker for the classics, but I would prefer this to just be kind of that straight up Eggs Benedict. All right, you guys, not a bad first breakfast plate. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and go for plate number two. I'll be back in a little bit. All 
Alrighty, you guys, so I'm back with my second plate. And with my second plate, I went for a lot of the money items. You can see here, I've got their crab legs along with some shrimp cocktail. I went, got their brisket along with some of their prime rib. And alongside them, I got this truffle potato casserole. This is all looking really good. Some of the premium items here at the Ace Buffet brunch. Let's go ahead and give them a try. All right, starting things off, let's go and try the shrimp cocktail. Nice plump devein shrimp here. Dip it into some cocktail sauce and we give it a try. Mm. Yep, solid shrimp cocktail there. Shrimp is nice and succulent. They've been cleaned very well. The cocktail sauce has a little kick to it. Very happy with that shrimp cocktail. All right, next up, let's go ahead and try the beef brisket. Now this cuts super tenderly on my knife and fork. I'm loving how much it's glistening in the light. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. I would say that's just okay. Unfortunately, it's a little drier than it initially appears. That said, it is very tender. The fat's been broken down very well. I'm not sure if it's because it's been out on the buffet line for a while, but unfortunately the meat is definitely a little bit dry. I think a little bit of barbecue sauce would spruce this right up. I'll probably grab that next. Alrighty, next up, let's go and try their prime rib. Now, the first time I came to the Ace Buffet's prime rib night on a Friday, I thought the prime rib was incredible. Really up to par with some of the best steakhouses here in Las Vegas. That was also their premiere night. Now it's been almost a year since then. Let's see how the prime rib holds up today. And I would say that's just decent. Now, unfortunately, I think the cut that I got was a little more well done than I typically prefer. So I think a lot of those juices may have been cooked out. That said, there's actually a really great salt crust on this. And the flavor of the beef is actually quite nice. A little tough, just a little dry. Maybe if I would have had one a little more from the center cut, it would have been better. But certainly not the worst buffet prime rib I've ever had. All right, next up, let's go in on these crab legs. All right, I've been able to expose a little bit of that meat here. Now, certainly not my cleanest extraction, not a ton out of that leg. Let's go and give it a try. Yep, those are nice crab legs. There's a nice sweetness to the crab meat here. It's always really nice to have crab legs as an option at a buffet. All right, and the last thing to try on my plate is gonna be these truffle potato casseroles. It has a really great smell to it. And this cheese is looking so gooey. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh, oh my gosh, those are so good. This is such a fantastic potato side, you guys. The potatoes are shaved down kind of like hash browns. They've got a really nice cook to them, but it's really this ultra gooey, cheesy flavor that's really the star here. The truffle is not overpowering, which was definitely my concern up front. It's very mellow, adds a nice accent. And there's also what seems to be something like a ricotta cheese or a gravy underneath this cheese layer. It adds such an incredible richness, a very delicious potato side. All right, guys, a pretty decent plate number two. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and go for plate number three. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, you guys, so I'm back with my third plate. With my third plate, I went and carved up. You can see here I've got a Spam Masubi along with some pork fried rice and a slice of their pepperoni pizza as well as their beef bolognese. And then I also did get a piece of their barbecue chicken. It's all looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and give it a try. First up, let's go and try the Spam Asubi. Definitely a big fan of Spam Asubi. We've got these fish skin flakes on top as well as what looks to be a pretty decent glaze underneath. Let's give it a taste. Oh man, so many mixed feelings on that one. As soon as I bit into it, the texture of the rice was unbearable. It was borderline raw hard. But then you actually started to get kind of the saltiness of the Spam and the sweetness of that shoyu sauce. And then all of a sudden the flavors were fine, but then the textures were lacking. I think I would have definitely enjoyed that fresh, but unfortunately the buffet line weight has found its next victim. All right, next up, let's go ahead and try the fried rice. Now this is a pork fried rice. I'm liking the color of the rice. Nice soy sauce stain here. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. You know, I'd say that's passable fried rice. The pork actually brings a nice richness here. The vegetables are perfectly softened. And there's actually a nice white pepper flavor here as well. But unfortunately, the texture of the rice is definitely lacking. It's a lot harder than it needs to be. Not bad, not great. I'd probably skip that on that next time though. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and try the beef bolognese up next. Now this is a baked beef bolognese. I'm liking the big chunks of beef in here. Let's go and give it a taste. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. The macaronis themselves are cooked very well. Still got a nice chew to them, very al dente. The cheese is providing a nice richness here. But honestly, the star of the show is that bolognese. It's very meaty, a good zesty quality to it as well. Well seasoned. I'd actually say that's a pretty solid beef bolognese. All right, now I know it's a cardinal sin for a buffet, but I definitely went in on some pizza. I mean, what can I say? I love pizza. Don't you love pizza? And I remember when I tried it when they first opened, it was pretty good. So let's go in and see if it's held up. You know, I'd still say that's a pretty good buffet pizza. The crust has a nice toasty quality to it. Both the cheese and the pepperoni have a great saltiness. Now, while the tomato sauce flavors are a little subdued, I'm not totally offended by that. This is honestly still one of the better buffet pizzas I've had. Alrighty, you guys, and the last thing I'm gonna try today is gonna be this barbecue chicken wing. Nice and plump with a really great looking barbecue sauce. Let's go and give it a try. You know, I'm definitely a fan of these wings. The chicken is nice and plump and really juicy. You can actually kind of tell it's still juicy chicken meat. I'm actually kind of in love with this barbecue sauce. It's nice and tangy, but it's had a chance to caramelize, giving it that extra smoky flavor. And as you finish out your bite, I really love this nice peppery kick that kind of comes through as an aftertaste. I'm a fan. Solid wings here at the Ace Buffet. All right, you guys, a pretty good third plate as well. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and then head over to the dessert section. I'll catch you in a little bit when I come back with some sweets. All right, you guys, so I am back with some dessert and this is all looking so good. Now, if you've watched any of my previous buffet videos, you know I'm a big fan of bread pudding, so I had to go in on the bread pudding today, topped with a little bit of their ice cream. I also went and got a little bit of their tiramisu along with what looks like to be a Rice Krispie treat topped with chocolate. This is all looking really good. Let's give it a try. Alrighty, first up, I have to go in on this bread pudding with some ice cream. Honestly, this is looking so soft and inviting. I cannot wait. Let's give it a try. Running up to the car help, help me. Oh, so good. The bread pudding is so soft and the vanilla flavor is really pronounced. You get that really smooth creaminess from the ice cream as well. Also adding a little bit of additional moisture. Oh, this is a really good bread pudding, you guys. All right, next up, let's try the tiramisu. This looks like a pretty good standard tiramisu to me. Let's give it a try. Yep, that's nice. There's a really solid espresso flavors here. Really nice creaminess as well. That perfect marriage of bitter and sweet. Yeah, really good tiramisu. All right, guys, and the last thing I'm gonna try today is this Rice Krispies treats topped with some chocolate. Definitely a big fan of Rice Krispies treats. Grew up eating these, love them. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's nice, everything I expected. It's a really good Rice Krispies treat. The marshmallow and the butter flavors are really good here. The chocolate provides another level of richness and thankfully the Rice Krispies aren't stale. They've got a nice texture to them. Great desserts today. Alrighty, you guys, and that does it for my review here at the Ace Buffet for brunch on the weekend. I think my favorite thing that I ate today was actually those truffle potato casseroles. That was really good. The brisket and the primary, while not the best, were definitely passable. And overall, I was a pretty big fan of everything I ate. Now guys, I gotta tell you, for $33, the value you get here at the Ace is incredible. You've got so many different carvery meats along with snow crab legs and a lot of different options. This is a very strong buffet offering from the Ace for weekend brunch. And along with that, you get unlimited mimosas. I think this is a spectacular weekend buffet. Now go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would love for more people to see it. And if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of great content coming your way. And that's all for this one. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed Vegas with me. Chin. Bye.